Hey guys, what's up? So this is continuations of locator writing strategy in Selenium, and we will see uh, some more locator writings, basic locator writings, and then we'll go to the advanced version. So before to start, this is brief about me. I come from mechanical background. I have my Facebook page and YouTube channel, so you guys can uh, subscribe my channel and like my Facebook page. Apart from that, if you come back to my uh, Facebook, so what happens here is uh, here you have a playlist so you can you know go through my playlist whatever playlist you want to learn now we will see some more expert and CSS here so what I will do is so let's say I have to locate what is selenium so how do I do that right so here we have what is selenium so what are the possibilities uh, way we can Locate that so one what we can do we can just copy this HTML or let me copy HTML uh, Till here Okay, till here. Let me copy that and I will tell you how many ways you can do that. So till here I copied I will come back to here and I'll paste it here. This is the HTML code Right now Let's say to do that So if you look at the HTML hierarchy div a script div comes at the same level and then h2 so inside the div what we have is div a script div and then h2 so we'll come back here we have at the same level and this we have one level down so that's how we have the hierarchy now we need to write xpath for that xpath to write the xpath we can go for one saying that h2 contains text what is selenium so this is one kind of xpath the other xpath how we can write it here is we can write this guy we can start from the parent and we can come down we can start double slash div at so for contents do not write at i did a mistake change to a single quote this is another kind of xpath and slash we can write here h2 so this is another kind of xpath the third kind of xpath is this is the parent of div and h2 parent is the div so we can write here first we can write the xpath for this we can go to the parent up and we can come down so we can write here div at right and we can do slash we can come to this div right so this div is a second div this is the first div this is the second div so we have to write div of 2 slash h2 let me test this xpath this xpath is working or not come to fire path change here to the xpath and we can test this so it is working and we are able to get three locators with this xpath so that is fine that we will see in the future how we can generate only one but it is happening or if you really want to locate only the first one you can just put one here h21 only first one will get located because when we say index of one first one will get located now we will come back to the eclipse and we will update to this so this is the xpath now let's say when we write the css for the same uh, object pretty straightforward when you have an id and when you want to write the css in selenium for id you can straight away write slash and this this will work actually so wherever you have a id when you want to write a css you just write has id name it will work and you can do uh, you can do angle bracket h2 and let me test this css change to the css 
see all three is matching but here i cannot write in css i cannot write h2 of 1 right so what we can write in the css in the css we have to write colon okay nth child please remember you have to write nth child and then we can write of 1 and this will work so in css when you write when you want to write the index follow nth child concept then only you'll be able to write that right so you have to follow nth child concept in the css so whatever we write here the same thing if you really want to write we need to follow the nth child concept similarly if i have to convert this xpath into css so let me come back to the html part so let's say you are here so how i can write i can write here as embody right i think it's embody so i'll take it from here embody so in css id is represented by hash so embody is getting highlighted inside the embody uh, we need to go for the second div right so we can just write here nth child Uh, we can write instead of writing n yeah nth child of two n child of three actually why n child of three I will show you let me remove this because we are here m body and we need to go to this this div right so this is first this is second this is third that is the reason we have to write n child of three so we'll come to this div when we come to this div this is the first child of this so again we can write go down to the nth hyphen child and then you go for the first child so this is what is selenium so this is your css right that's how you can write a css for that so let me copy and let me paste it here so this is this two css you can write right for the same object right now we we will see some more object let's say i want to write the xpath and css for this text box this text box so how do i do that so this text box you have uh, these are the options you have available so we can copy these options here html part come back to the eclipse and we'll paste it here now we will start with xpath so xpath one we can write we can write input we can write at id is equal to q that is one right another is going to be at input at we can write name is equal to q that is also fine right. then how to write a css css we can write one is pretty simple we can write Q because in CSS ID is denoted by hash. Then other we can write. We can just convert this attribute name variable to a CSS by right link like this. In fact, we can convert this XPath also into CSS just by writing tag name attribute name is equal to attribute value, and this all three will work fine. Let us uh, let us I mean let us test this whether this is working or not. Come back here, go to the fire path first. Let me check the X path, and this is working. We are able to get the text box. Similarly, we will test the CSS also. So, hash queue, test that. Uh, we need to change here to the CSS, and it is working, right? So, both are working. Now we will see for go button. This go button, uh, we will go to the HTML and this is go button. So, again, let us see that. Yeah, this is go button. So, we will copy this HTML part from here. We will paste it here and we will see xpath and CSS. So, I will write here xpath. xpath 1 we can write by taking this data. You can just try slash 
at id is equal to submit and other how we can write is we can write this and we can also write and type is equal to this so sometimes what happens is we want to combine two attribute name and attribute value in xpath we can achieve like this okay we can write like this so let me copy this and let me test this xpath whether this is working or not Uh, sorry we we don't need to close here yeah so if we look at here i think we are missing the code yeah so this is also working so let's say you want to combine more than one attribute name and attribute value you you will go like this and when we go for it sometimes what happens is with one attribute we will not able we will not be able to get the data uniquely so we can go for more than one attribute right we can go for more than one attribute by writing like this so we can append more than one when with one attribute we are not getting the unique data now to write a css for the second one how do we write a css pretty simple and straightforward remove this when you want to combine more than one attribute name and attribute value in the css you just need to write a square bracket and it will work fine so we can you can add with two square bracket and this css will work fine for you just paste it here we can test this css it is working and we are able to get the data that is one the second what we can write we can write slash uh, just submit this will also work fine because it has id and uh, as we know that in CSS, ID is denoted by hash, so we can just write it like this. Change to CSS, you can enter C, one matching node. So, till here, we are good and we are able to understand. Now, let me do one thing. Let me figure out for this Selenium web driver. Right? This is awesome. Uh, we will try to write for that Selenium web driver. So, how do we write a CSS and XPath for that? Let me copy the complete hierarchy of this. Come back. We'll paste it here. And we will make like HTML so that we'll have understanding. Okay. So assume that this is your HTML. And we need to write the xpath for this options selenium web driver we want to write for that so how we should approach there are a lot of ways we can write it here one what we can do is one xpath is going to be we can start from table so we can start from the parent and we can come down we can start from here we can write add id is equal to choice right and then we can write slash t body because till here we came as a relative path and then we'll follow the absolute path then we'll write tr then we'll write td uh, then where, where is the center we need to check once yeah inside the td you have a center and then you have a h3 so we can we can copy this and then slash we have h3 so that is one x path right we can write like this we can go to the parent and we can come down the other x path can be uh, we can write here h3 contains text And the text of that so selenium web driver right. this is another x path that's how we can write now how do you convert this the first one into the css so to convert first one into the css we can write like this since it is id choice right 
uh, one way is we can write slash then we can go down by t body then we can go down by tr we can go down by td we can go down by center and we can go down by h3 so this is one way of writing the another way is another way of writing the css is uh, we can just remove this we can follow attribute name attribute value concept and we can change the absolute path with the angle bracket and both will go fine now let me test this css is working or not so we'll come back to the fire path and we can see that it is working but the problem is your both uh, html is getting highlighted so here what we can do we can just write here and hyphen child and then we can go for the first one okay so though i am writing nth child but what is happening is it is getting both the data so come till here come till td so this is your td right so here only we have to go to the first td because this is our first td so we have to start from here itself we need to go to the first td so what we can do here itself we can write nth child like we need to see also from where we should start that is also important now we came here now inside that we can just write center angle bracket we can write s3 right and this works fine so this css will work well for our requirement this css okay. similarly uh, this css also uh, what we need to do is uh, we can copy from here and we can change here this will also work fine let us test this xpath is working fine or not So again here both are getting highlighted but here it is pretty simple oh here also we cannot do h3 so what we can do we know that the td of 1 right so we can change to 1 and this will work because as we know that td of 1 has that information so we can copy this we can paste it here and then i will show you in the details way uh, once we go back to the html here the selenium web driver see look at this you have a tr then you have a td then you have one more td right so this td is going to be your first td and this is going to be second td right so you can follow like this and that's how you know you can write uh, xpath and css for that so with this we are done with xpath and css with this video i'll be keep on releasing the series so thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video so subscribe my channel and like my facebook page thank you guys